This is Local 15 News. Hi, good evening, everybody. I'm Greg Peterson. And I'm Kim Thurman. Our big story right now at 10 o'clock, two months after Mobile County residents approved a Moss takeover of Pritchard Water, comes the news Moss wishes it did not have to report. The entity said it will not be taking over the system after all. Local 15's Derek Rose has reaction from both sides in this ongoing debate and a story you saw first here on Local 15. Derek? Greg Moss says Pritchard Water Board is just too deep in debt. And for the board's critics, they point to a critical moment just before that vote, a move by Pritchard Water, which some are calling sabotage. 11 days before Mobile County voters approved the takeover, the Pritchard Water Board unanimously voted to renew a multi-year, multi-million dollar contract with its water supplier, Severn Trent. It's only been revealed now, at the time of the board's vote in May, Pritchard Water was already deep in debt. That's what you call a poison pill. That's the final straw that breaks a camel's back. They knew that, and they did it, and it's almost, uh, uh, it's just unbelievable. According to records provided to Local 15 News by Moz, the Pritchard Water Board was already two months behind in payments to Severn Trent when it voted to extend the contract. It's now three months late and owes more than one and a quarter million dollars. Pritchard Water Board's own financial record shows it has a 74% operating cost when that number should be at 115%. And despite that debt, Moss told us Tuesday the Pritchard Water Board hired lobbyists, management consultants, and PR firms to fight against the takeover. It's a very greedy move. They look at making a profit over the voice and the vote of the people. State Representative Napoleon Bracey is a longtime critic of the Pritchard Water Board, and after learning malls will not complete the takeover, Bracey wasted no time sharing his thoughts on the Pritchard Water Board's tactics. This is something that the citizens wanted, and we gave it to them, and they sabotaged it. You know, I think they're very greedy, they're corrupt, and they just need to be stopped. To make the takeover work for Moss, its only option would have been to raise customer rates. It blames the debt of the Pritchard Water Board for killing this deal. And Pritchard Water Board's chairperson did not return our call seeking comment. We did, however, receive a statement from Pritchard Mayor Troy Ephraim late this evening who supported the Pritchard Water Board. Ephraim says, in part, the mayor and city council stood together in opposition of the Moss takeover, adding, now that Moss has cast the final vote in this election, the city is prepared to work directly with Pritchard Water to effect the change our citizens sought in June. Kim? All right, we're following breaking news right now out of...